Garrett, Florida. Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, today is actually the day after my last video, the day I went fishing with Garrett right here on his boat. Um, today he made the trip down south. We are in the West Palm Beach area and we will be fishing again today. Super excited, are you excited? Oh yeah. Super excited. Uh, we're hoping to get on some peacock bass. I have never caught a peacock bass. Um, Garrett knows his way around this area and what to use and all that stuff. So uh, today should be should be fun. We're going to be using some live bait. We're also going to be using some artificial bait. So you guys uh, will see all of that in the video. But um, hopefully I'll be able to get my first peacock bass. Yesterday I caught my first bedding bass, which is super fun. Um, I heard peacocks are uh, like the smallmouth of Florida, like super aggressive and all that stuff. So uh, hopefully we can get on a couple. And then after that, we may go for some snakehead. We'll see how everything goes. We have a couple hours to uh, try to get on some fish. So uh, hopefully we can do that. So uh, stay tuned. First spot of the day, we have a canal. Got Garrett over here, already got started. I was uh, tying up in the car. Well guys, we're at spot number two. First spot was a little bit too shallow. So uh, we came to another spot on the same lake. I'm gonna quickly just take my rods out. And uh, we'll see if we can catch some peacocks. I also have a jig tied on just in case things are slow and uh, I see a large mouth or something. Good, good. As you guys can see, little uh, perfect jigs, mini elite jig, and a jerk bait. It's still raining, so um, if it gets if it starts raining any harder, put the GoPro away and just uh, turn it on when I catch a fish. Other than that, we will uh, see if we can uh, do something over here. Well, it's uh, raining pretty hard now. <laughs> um, we just left our first couple spots. Uh, we haven't been able to catch peacock yet. We tried top water, we tried jerk baits. Um, so we're gonna go and get some live bait. We're gonna go pick up some shiners, see what we can do with those. Um, shiners are pretty much a staple here in Florida. If you do some research and Garrett knows that uh, you should be able to catch a peacock on a shiner. So hopefully we'll be able to do that, we're heading to the tackle store right now to go uh, get some. And uh, hopefully this rain dies down a little bit because I can't really film with the GoPro in the rain. Um, I don't have the waterproof case. So uh, we'll, see, we'll see how that goes. But either way, we will be fishing. Um, I hope I'm able to catch, get the get the catch on, on film. If not, then I'll get the fish for sure. But um, off to the tackle shop we go. <laughs> Well guys, new spot, we got some shiners. It's like 40 kilometer winds and raining right now. Not really the most fun to be fishing in, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do to get on some fish. Garrett just had the first bite of the day. We moved over to the, uh, to the bridge. How'd the bite so, feel uh, like? Open it. Open, open it? it. Yeah. How'd the bite feel? It's, I, I thought I was snagging the next yeah. thing he was pulling. Alright. <sighs> oh, watch out. It's a slippery. Right here, right here. We can uh, figure something out. I was facing the other way, and uh, Garrett slipped in not once, but twice into that. <laughs> He's soaked from the waist down. <laughs> you saved his phone though. Yeah, my phone's good. Get to fishing. Let's get to fishing. We need a peacock. 
to make up for that. Well guys, last part of the day, we're fishing a canal off the lake we started this morning. Um, Garrett ended up talking to one of his buddies that live here. Uh, the bite is going to be tough. It has been tough. We haven't caught anything all day. We've been fishing for what, like five hours? Yeah. We've been fishing for like five hours. It's been really, really tough. Um, we're using live shiners. It's still nothing. Garrett did have one on, but it came off. And, uh, you know, we got intel from local tackle shops. We got intel from uh, Garrett's friends, and uh, it's just tough. I picked like the worst week to come down to Florida with the cold front. Tough on uh, largemouth and tough on uh, peacocks, but what can you do? We want to try these uh, canals with some life shiners and then hopefully uh, we're able to catch at least one today. So uh, the whole peacock thing was a bus. Pretty big bus. We didn't catch anything, we didn't see anything. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame it on the cold front. But um <laughs> it was pretty rough. So we're back at my condo area and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch a couple bass out of here. We still have like what two dozen life shiners left, so we're probably gonna use those just to get rid of them. And uh hopefully we can uh find a big in here and make up for the day. Garrett is uh looking for an iguana, he wants to catch an iguana. They were falling from trees when I was fishing, so let's see if we can figure something out. Man's uh man's determined to get an iguana. Oh, look at him go. Nope. Yep. Yep. Oh. Okay. Oh! No! <laughs> oh. That was a decent sized fish. You see that? No! <laughs> oh. That makes me so mad. I he saw him. He was, he was okay. Uh, dude, in the pads, man. In the pads. Did you get one? Oh yeah. Garrett's got one. I want to see if I can get that one big one. We went that way. This is the same spot that I caught those two fish the first time I was here. So, uh, looks like pads are the tickets. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. You got one too! Oh, yeah, that's the one, that's probably the one I just had. Doubled up? Oh, that's a nice fish, Garrett. Two and a half, probably two seven. For two. sure. Doubled quick up? Photo? Yeah, quick photo. That's, that's definitely do the like one, that's, like that's, that's, that's definitely the one I lost. Double up! Heck yeah. It's released these two uh, beautiful Florida bass. That's a nice one. Two and a half probably, right? Oh yeah. Really fat. Yeah. Pro that's probably your shiner. That's, that's probably my shiner. <laughs> there she goes. Heck yeah. Boop. There you go. He has me hung. He has me hung. There you go. There you go. Another little squeaker. Oh, come on, come on. Right in the top of the lip. Boop. Yeah, come on. Oh, okay. It's a little better. That's a decent fish. a decent fish. Just picked up my rod to see if anything was on it. And bam. Nice fish right there. Biggest, my biggest fish of the day right there. Nice one and a half, maybe two right there. Uh, he was a gut tucked, which was good. I left my line out there for a little bit. Garrett's, Garrett's, uh, you, you should probably check that. Yeah, let me hold the camera. It's, re it's quickly released this fish. Let's release this fish. She goes. This makes up for it. 
for the uh, awful peacock here. <laughs> I almost got a shiner to the face right there. But um, yeah, I mean, we're using shiners. We have a bunch of them left from the peacock fishing, so I'm gonna use those up over here. But uh, let's see if we can get on a on a bigger fish than that. They really like this vegetation here. Like all the fish we've caught was either in the vegetation or like right on the outskirts of it. And there's nothing really else for them to relate to, right? Ooh, I'm so mad I missed that first one. I think it was a little bigger than that one. I th yeah, I think it was. <laughs> it, was a, it was a pretty big fish. We're just using a mosquito hook, size two mosquito hook, or two watt, it's a two watt mosquito hook. A nose hooking, or I guess lipping the shiners and uh, tossing them out. See all that? Those little minnows or tadpoles jump? There's gotta be some more fish there. Yeah, yeah. I saw him eat it. I saw him eat it. Oh, that's a good one. Ah, yes! That's a nice fish. Right. Yeah, right in front of those pads. Top of the mouth. Get it on. Get it on. Nice. Double dub. Right there in the wind. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's peeing. <laughs> he's ready to spawn. Let's let him go. Ready? Yeah. Bam, bud. That's the third time we doubled up. Third time. Third time we have doubled up on this pond. Yeah! I saw that last fish eat my bait. It's crazy. Turn the camera right on. I'm running really low on battery, which is why I'm not having it rolling the whole time. The cold today absolutely killed my batteries. But, uh, let's go again. Yeah, no, I need a live one. You got one? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know how you threw it. Need help? That's a decent fish, bud. Garrett's uh, killing me with the sizes. That's a nice fish. Nice fish, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let him go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a little bit bigger fish, I think. Okay. Well, he's not that big. It's a nice one. Nice one. Right there. Popped right off. Right against that bank right there. Nice fish. Let that fish go. Woo! I thought she was a big in the way she was running. She ran for all the way from there to there. Just, just ran. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Garrett's on with another, oh, okay. Here, bring her up. Oh, it's a big fish, bud. <sighs> that is a big fish, bud. Look at that. Right there. Look at that. Jeez! Where'd you get her? Right there? Straight out. You see that pad is? Yeah. A pitch there. Here, it's, okay. I think it was just a shiner. Yeah. That is a nice fish. Let me quickly grab a photo for you. Nice fish. Let's let her go. We are out of shiners. Garrett has the last one on his rod, as you guys can see. He's uh, pitching it under this tree where uh, we caught a couple fish. He caught a nice, nice fish under the tree. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if we can get one more on the last shiner. No. And then, there goes the last shiner. He got off. He got off. <laughs> not, the not the brightest idea, Garrett, for want to hug Garrett. No. He can't feel his feet. <laughs> but, um, Iguana's win this time. He, didn't, he wasn't able to catch one and he can't feel his feet. But, um,. That is a wrap for today's video. Um, today was a grind. In the morning, we couldn't, we went for peacock. We went to what, like four or five different spots. Mm -hmm. Couldn't catch anything on artificial or on live bait. So uh, that was a total bust. 
but uh, we came here. My condo's over here. Uh, came to that pond I fished in my very first video, and uh, we caught probably 16, 17, 18 fish. Doubled up four times, which is pretty cool. But um, we ended up using all the live shiners that we bought, and uh, we caught a couple fish doing that. So um, I'm gonna leave Garrett's Instagram right here and down below. You guys can go give him a follow. Your uh, he's at like 30 something k. Um, pretty sweet Instagram. Lots of big fish on that Instagram. So I'll leave the name right here. And a huge shout out to Garrett for uh, coming down here to uh, to West Palm and uh, trying to get me on my first peacock. Not this time, but I'll be back. I will be back, and uh, we'll catch a peacock one day. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.